What's up, people? It's Multiplier, and today I'm going to tell you very quickly what dither settings you need when you're exporting in Ableton. So, in very simple terms, the answer is triangular or none at all. So, when we're exporting, we have a few options. Mainly, well, we're going to look at dither options. Now, what is dithering? Dithering is basically when you're downsampling from, say, 32 to 16 bit or 24 to 16 bit. It's adding in a little bit of white noise so that it masks some of the kind of side effects of doing that downsampling. Now you can look up in technical terms exactly what dithering's doing. It's quite a complicated physics-y, science-y, audio technology sort of vibe ting, but you don't really need to worry about that. All you need to know is it's adding in some white noise of a different style, depending on what dither option you choose, to kind of mask some side effects of downsampling. Now, when you're using Ableton, triangular is kind of my go-to. Sounds pretty good. Unless you're using really good headphones and you're doing it on a certain style of track, you probably won't even hear the difference. But triangular, you can't really go wrong with it. And uh, yeah, seems to work sufficiently well. So don't really worry about it too much, what dither option you choose. But the super, super important bit is you don't dither twice. Because basically, this is something you want to do at the final, 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 final mastering stage. Don't do a dither and then process and then have to do a dither again. This is really something you only want to do once. That's the really, really important thing. If you start dithering over and over again, you really will start to hear a side effect of doing too much dithering. So within reason, doesn't matter what sort of dithering you're doing, but triangular works well. And yeah, make sure you only do it once and do this at the final stage. Boom, magic, done. And just in case any of you are wondering, um, I actually end up doing all my dithering in isotope ozone, because in ozone you can see we have some dithering type here, so we can choose M bit plus, and then we can choose how much noise shape shaping we do. Um, so I actually do all my dithering and kind of change a bit stuff in ozone, but then what that means is because I've done the dithering and changing a bit depth thing within Ozone. When I'm then exporting in Ableton, so file, export, I do no dither. Because remember I said I only have to dither once and I shouldn't dither twice. So you have to kind of keep your eye on it, especially if you're using a mastering plugin that's doing its own dithering. Boom, sorted, magic, super simple. Now you know about it, don't worry about it and don't let anyone tell you it's the most important thing in the world. It really isn't, there's about a gazillion things that matter more. Boom, sorted, done, said boom again.